Now White Rot is just, I mean, ha what's the nice way of putting it, man? He's in. He's. <laughs> I, I can't find the word. He's he's dead. Oh, I think he's you could dead. find a word. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. So Nurtio looking absolutely amazing. 40 yeah. drones to 7 probes. Can't believe that's, it. That's a tough spot, Roddy. Both games he just completely counters by either having a circling run by or just circlings. Taking out the pilot by the counter attack. Such an excellent way of by Nurtio reading this game. I mean, even in the last game, he realized that uh, Wajwa was probably going to be prepared. He's like, all right, I'm going to make five roaches. And meanwhile, I have my backup plan ready already. And now he does it again with that circling counter. I still think with Wajwa, with six gates, shouldn't he have been able to warp in more units? There should have been a cannon there. It, but well, he never built a forge, you know. And yeah. yes, you're right, but he was warping in units over in that third base yeah, to and continue I think, the attack. Yeah, and I think that was the biggest mistake, that he shouldn't have done it. He should have, if he would have warped in endless of units over here with a couple of force fields. Here we go, though. Nurture's trying to go to forge. Oh, oh, no. no. Lings get up. Uh, White Rod, he could focus down these sentries, but all the force fields actually been used up here, so once yeah. these force fields expire, I think Nurture should be able to just stream up in here and end this game. We only have one Zellos remaining. We don't have that many roaches, so nice defensive force fields by White Rod right there. Nurture is actually losing quite a few um, quite a few units over here, but just look at the income tab. I mean, 14 yeah. uh, probes against 39 drones, that's massive. And if you look at the rallies of Nurcio, he's just <laughs> he's rallying straight across the map. He's just rallied right onto the ramp. White Rod doing everything he can to hold here with some great force fields and warping in whatever units uh, you know he has, but uh, there's just so much stuff coming from Nurcio, I just don't think that there's really anything White, White Rod can do here. Nurture played so exceptionally well, it's not even funny. 92 supply right now. White Rod only at 93, but here we go. Finally, the Zerg uh, units do stream in. We have three sentries remaining, but we almost have the same amount of roaches in your base, and that's a really bad sign. White Rod right now attacking his own gateway, which means he is typing and so well played. Well played. Nurture shaking off the nerves yeah, man. And, uh, oh. and showing us. That was some of the best decision making yeah. I've ever seen, right? He and just lost his third base. I'd be panicked. Oh my god, yeah. I've got to kill that pylon. I've got to stop the 6 gate from killing me. But instead, he says no. Sack the third base, counterattack, and uh, White Rock critically not having the enough stuff there. Nurcio on the on the flag there. The fans are happy. Really Look at this venue. This is such, this is so great. StarCraft yeah. fans are the best fans in the world, man. I do agree with that. So. After final fans. <laughs> That's my favorite football team. I'm just kidding. Starcraft 2 fans are the best. I do agree with that. And I really think it's impressive. I mean, it's excellent decision making, but the way. I mean, he's still such a young player. This is his first international LAN event ever. Actually, one of his first events in Poland. I don't even think he went to LAN events yeah. in Poland. Then showing that decision making on moments where it matters so much, you know, like he was almost third. I mean, we're like, okay, the third is going to fall. This is so bad for Nurture. Right, exactly, exactly. And uh, you know, at White Rock, he didn't play badly. He's such, yeah. a, and such a classy guy, always with the good games, well played. But I think the crowd is chanting White Rock right now because they all love the guy so much. Uh, yeah, you know, and it's unfortunate to see him go out. Uh, if I had to pick somebody to go out after the first two games, it would not have been White Rock. No. But uh, Nurture just playing so, so incredibly sharp and. Uh, I'm excited to see him go on, man. Yeah, he me looks too. really good there. If he plays that well throughout the rest of the tournament, he's a contender to win the thing. Yeah, well, he was, uh, in my opinion, anyway, despite this being his first land ever, I really felt that, you know, if anyone is actually going to make, like, a big splash on the scene, it could have been Nurture right now. I think he played awesome in this game. I really, really look forward to seeing more games from him. I think that's going to be it for us for now. We're going to have a small yeah. break. World of Warcraft is up next, but after that, we'll be back. Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned for the WoW, guys. Don't go anywhere. We've got an interview coming up with our players and, uh, and then some WoW PvP. So uh, we'll be back in a little while, guys. Thanks so much. And once again, a big shout-out to all the community sites, not just oh, Team Liquid, right, yeah. but we have Readmore as well. We have Ghost of Gamers. We have Rockakata.dz. Reddit. Okay. Oh, okay, so apparently we're not going to have World of Warcraft. I just... Oh. To the oh, there we go. We've just seen Nurcio moving through into the next round of the Constellation Bracket. Of course, we have Nurcio here with White Ra as well. Uh, White Ra, talk us through that. What happened from your point of view? Uh, I said before game, I have bad shape now, and uh, I need maybe two weeks for like, my best shape and uh, continue play. But Nurcio play uh, very good and using my mistake and win this game. Także White Ram mówi, że nie jest w najlepszej formie, potrzebuje jakichś dwóch tygodni, do, do, żeby dojść do tej najlepszej formy. E, zrobił dwa błędy i oba wykorzystał Nercio. So, now you're out of the tournament, who do you think is going to go on to win it? You can be objective now and say, okay, these guys are looking good. I cheers for Strelok, but I think I'll have good chance in this competition. Who, who? Strelok. Uh, oh. E, nie do końca zrozumiałem, mówi e, Whitera, że e, w dalszych rozgrywkach e, chciałby, żeby Strelok wygrał, ale uważa, że wszyscy, którzy są nadal w turnieju, mają e, wysokie szanse na to, żeby 
żeby wygrać. I chciał jeszcze dodać, nie słychać tego, bo na mikrofonie może dam. Uh, cheers for Tarsan. Tak. So White Rob, before I came on stage here, some of the fans asked me, now that you're out of the tournament, are you going to sign a few more autographs? Yes. <laughs> If I'm not sleeping right, right, uh, right now and right here. <laughs> Well, we saw Strelik on the floor earlier on. I'm not sure if he was trying to sleep or whether he just fell off his chair. Actually, we had to get the stage manager to rebuild the stage there because uh, had a bit of a fall. So yeah, some autographs after? Yes, of course. But you not uh, see one story in uh, maybe two years ago when Win Dimag uh, WCG Ukraine. Someone uh, try pick up him in a uh, flight and drop. It's be crazy. It's, so it's like it's a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Także opowiada, że ktoś próbował Dimagę na, w, na, w Ukrainie na turnieju podnieść i, i, i chyba go upuścił. Także to, co tu się stało Strelokowi, to jest jeszcze nic. Commiserations on being knocked out, but have fun with the fans and uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you once again. Cheers for White Ra! Artur, emocje opadły? Już tak, chociaż cieszę się, że wygrałem z takim doświadczonym graczem. So he says uh, emotions have gone down a little bit. He's uh, happy that uh, he's beaten such an experienced player. E, to ja mam pytanie, bo ty widzę, stresujesz się bardziej przy wywiadach niż przy samym meczu. Czy tak jest e, zaiste? Mm, niestety. <laughs> Ale to powiedz coś więcej, bo musisz się już tutaj uczyć tego gwiazdorstwa. No lepiej dla mnie, bo nie, nie wpływa to tak na moją grę. So I'm trying to squeeze a few words out of him. I'm asking him whether he's stressed out by uh, interviews more than he is stressed out by uh, tournament gameplay. He says actually that um, that is the case and that he's happy that the stress is all here and, and not, in, uh, not in game. See what I did here? Tak musisz długo mówić, jak masz to do powiedzenia, to samo. Dobrze, jak w następnej rundzie, bo grasz chyba ze zwycięzcą meczu Strelok, Tarson, tak? To się zgadza. Którego z tych zawodników uważasz za lepszego i komu życzysz zwycięstwa? Wiadomo, wolę, żeby Tarson wygrał, tym bardziej, że znam jego styl i byłoby mi wygodniej na niego grać. So I asked... Considering Strelok or Tarson is the next opponent, uh, who would he prefer, prefer to, to see winning and why? And he says, well, obviously Tarson. And the justification was because I know his style better and could adjust better. Ale dlatego, że Polak, to chyba też mu kibicujesz? Oczywiście. So, and he also adds that he does cheer for him because Tarson is Polish. Wielkie brawa, jeszcze raz dla Nercia. So the game that you just touched upon, another